right, well, thanks so much for coming to learn about composting today. Very exciting subject. So as you guys know, ILSC is going to be introducing composting to some of their other campuses. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit today about what is composting and why do we do it. So technically, composting is the purposeful decomposition of organic material into a soil-like product known as compost. What does that really mean? Well, that means that we take our leftover food scraps, like what you guys have here, or our organic materials like paper towels and paper plates, and then instead of putting them in the garbage where they just go to the landfill, we actually break them down and turn them back into soil, which is really useful. So why do we do that? Well, the number one reason that we do that for is by composting basic items, we can reduce our overall waste by up to 40 and sometimes even 50%, which is very exciting because we don't want that stuff going to the landfill if it doesn't have to. The second reason that we compost is actually even more important than just reducing landfill space is that composting is a great way for us to make a big impact on our carbon footprint. When we take organic materials like all our leftover food here and we put it in the landfill, they actually break down without oxygen and produce methane, which is a greenhouse gas, as a byproduct. We're now seeing that methane is about 21 times more potent than CO2, so composting is a really easy and effective way for us to really make an impact on our carbon footprint. One of the other great reasons for composting as well is that all your food and leftover organics actually have a lot of nutrients and vitamins and minerals in them that are really useful for us when we're trying to grow more food. So instead of just taking those items and throwing them in the garbage where we just lose that resource, composting is actually the ultimate recycling because we take those things and then we put them back into our own land and help our local community. So the ILSC has been composting with us for just under four months and in that time you guys have reduced about the weight of one grizzly bear, which is very exciting, or five average hockey players. Woohoo! It's the way to go, ILSC! So, does anyone have any questions about composting? Yeah, yeah, pretty much everything organic. So, as we can see, we have some wonderful models here who have happened to have brought down some examples of things that we can compost. So everything here in this container, if it's left over, can go in the compost bin, including those napkins and those paper plates. Pretty much everything organic except for Starbucks cups, unfortunately have plastic on the inside, so we can't compost them at this point in time. And things like uh, Tim Hortons or Subway wrappers have a plasticized coating on them. But if it's plain paper or just plain food, put it in the compost. So eggshells, fruit pits. Things that you couldn't normally compost at home can go in the compost bin. Yeah, yeah. Now that you guys are moving to a larger composting system, you guys can start putting meat, fish, and bones into the compost container. Originally, we didn't have you guys do that because we were getting it picked up once a week, but now you guys are going to be moving to a, a daily removal of your compost to your tote, so it's an easier system. Good question, though. And in case some of you guys are curious, there are actually no chemicals in the process of turning that food waste, or organic waste, into soil. What we do at the facility is we actually grind the materials up, and then we actually keep it into huge piles. And it's a natural process, so in all of your food waste and organic waste are little bacteria, little microbes. So when we pile them like that, the inside of the pile actually starts generating heat, which helps the bacteria and the microbes eat all of the leftover materials. So all we need to do is just turn it to let oxygen get in there so that it can live and breathe. And they do the work themselves. And it takes about 150 days to turn what you guys put in the compost back in the soil. Instead of that being in a landfill for a lifetime, it's a really fast turnaround to turn what could have been garbage back into something really awesome and useful. Yeah? Good question. Well, the facility does sell their compost back to the local agriculture industry and landscaping industry. And we at Growing City actually work with a couple different community gardens. But we donate the soil back. So for example, we work with the EYA, which is the Environmental Youth Alliance. Down here they have a youth garden on terminal. So we come in and we donate some soil there. So we want to make sure that the material that we take out of the city stays in the city to kind of close the lap, gap, complete the cycle. Any other questions? That's OK. Cool. Well, at Growing City, we do community events every month. And you can check those out on our blog, where we have lots of really cool volunteering opportunities and sustainable events. 
So if you guys want to come on down and hang out with us at the EIA Garden or do some planting or volunteering with some of other great organizations, check out our website, growingcity.ca. You're all welcome to attend. And every month we'll send you guys a reminder and also a diversion update letting you guys know how much waste you've diverted from the local landfill and how much CO2 equivalency you've diverted. So you guys can stay on top of how often you're doing with your composting program. Awesome. Well, if you guys have any other questions, send me an email. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, let us know how it's going. And thanks again for having us. Well done.